Wind. Why does it come? I thought to stop it. If you've got both doors open, it causes a problem. Now, this is just an update on the 1958 Land Rover. Headlights are out. Side lights are out. That's another headlight. That's a, um, a halogen conversion headlight. And uh, we've got these for most of our vehicles. When you look in the bin, a um, good fit through the bin. Come across that. Halogen headlight conversion kit for for uh, classic Mini and Land Rovers. I presume it fit other vehicles as well. You might have noticed that a brand new Land Rover doors back on. Um, a, a door handle off of a spare parts vehicle we have. Pretty much nothing's changed in the, in the back of here except for <coughs> that that's a very good heater matrix but here is my original one that's the one I've took out we've had it pressure tested and it's just had it barely it's going to rain in a minute that's the old spare parts vehicle there. 1981 X-Reg. Oh, heater pile. But anyway, that one I've just showed you was a bigger thickness than the uh, one that I've got down there. So I've got in touch with a company called Clayton Classics who can reproduce the heater matrix that will fit that. And the best thing is, is that I can use, although I can buy, I can use the original front end of the heater, which is in good condition, Smith's, made in England, of course. And that's, a, that's another one we've picked up along his travels. Smith's Motor Accessories Limited, England. Uh, so, and that one... As you can see, it's not as deep, which means it's not as efficient. Efficiency is the thing. Right then. This is the gearbox tunnel part of, wax oiled. This is the one off the spare parts vehicle up there. It's about to be fitted soon. And this is the original one. Now, it's in no better condition the rest of the job there. Uh, it's in no better condition than that. But it but to get it painted and finished off it was much quicker. This would have to be shot lasted. We just didn't have the time at the time. I can shot last that up and sell it on to someone who actually needs it. The only, the only downside is the other one it's dinted in there. So I'm worried it might not fit perfectly and it's rusted on the other side anyway and that looks like a repair panel on the other side of this thing we've got painted doors back on wax oil absolutely everywhere especially inside the bulkhead and there uh, all under here has been painted as much as we could paint that needs fitting on that side um, I can't see a thing there. Um, dashboard, that just wants a bit of touching up on the top end there. Uh, pedal rubbers on. That footwell's not been painted yet. Serve two gear knob. Um, I'm looking for a new top end of that. But I don't know where you can buy them from. Uh, seats out of an old 90. They can go back in now. It's the toolbox. This is the uh, passenger side one at the top here. Going back in. I was sat on this earlier doing the other video. And it was absolutely awful. So I sat on there 
runners. These are much more comfortable than the series seats because these we got through with the vehicle anyway, so yes, very comfortable. Just the headrest and just the recliner. These need to be replaced because that one's seen better days. And there's bits here, there and everywhere that have seen better days. Uh, well, that's kind of tough. Yeah, I've got some something we never had on the vehicle before, but we have had them to fit. And that, they are the uh, just fine. And that's one of them. And the two below, which are sort of um, made differently to them. They were off this vehicle originally, and one used to sit on here, like so, so you could sort of pull yourself up as you got in. These are the Series 2 ones, which should fit somewhere here. This is a Series 3 one, which is going to fit there, where the other one came from. So I can have the original ones, which are a much nicer feel, going on the vehicle there, and that is the next job. So. Um, nothing much changed on the roof. Repair panel there. Just need a bead of silicon or something to get. Oh no. To go down the end of there. So many birds in the workshop. Especially when you find them dead. Um, this. I'm moving on to the back door. Three drainage holes drilled and the traditional places. And on, and on the other doors as well. Uh, that's uh, an old lock of the spare parts vehicle. Um, that shuts. And um, also, I've re galvanised the, the weather strip at the bottom of that. That, that was a new top hinge from a breakers. And that's the original bottom hinge down there. And, um, that's in pretty good in it, all copper greased up with rubber shims to prevent corrosion right on the on each one and on the front doors as well. Uh, take a look what the original hinge looked like. It's gone. Right, um that's been ground into by a previous owner who took this thing to bits. And um it's not in too bad in it. We could have reused it but we didn't. Now this bit is where the problems start. Is that is cracked. There, you can't really see it but it is. Right where my thumb is there. I can see it there. And also the brass ball is no longer a ball. It is a uh, a thing with a big dip in it, which again you can't see. But anyway, it's some um, found just from my finger. I think you can sort of make it out. And that's excessive wear, and the pin is long gone stuck inside. So it's the art for the scrap. I uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and please continue to watch others.